I have for you a sketchbook tour. I'm really excited to show you guys my sketchbook that I started whenever I was 12 years old. There's some juicy content of my artistic journey and history in here. I'm excited to show you what I have. First off, we have Cookies Are Yummy Calligraphy. I got a calligraphy pin with this sketchbook and so I was like trying stuff out, Nike swishing everywhere and uh yeah, having a good time. Cookies are yummy. I agree still. Then my mom painted me a sign and it said on my wandering heart to thee and I really loved it. It was my favorite like thing in my room. So I liked to copy it and try to do things like that. So I did that and then I tried to make like a, a graphic of a heart with like a a belt around it and yeah I did find my wondering heart to thee with the calligraphy pin it was really fun so then we enter <sighs> whatever this is if you're 12 years old don't judge your artwork if you're any age don't judge your artwork because you can always come back and look at my elephant fish enough said then we enter the kawaii phase. I went through a pretty solid kawaii phase where I drew only kawaii characters. So I thought I'd show you guys a few of my favorites. So this is Go Galaxy Kawaii Girl, which has like little paint pin dots in her hair and colored pencil. So she was a fun kawaii character. She kicked off the kawaii phase. And we have more kawaii characters with little little pets I gave them that were really fun and these two the infinity food girl and the grumpy cat kawaii character uh I really liked doing ombre and hair that was one of my favorite things then I drew this kawaii character I was apparently drawing my sister as a kawaii character I don't know what about this character looks like her but this is Audrey as a kawaii character even though she doesn't have long hair, straight hair, purple hair, or any of the above. But it's still Audrey. Then we have some more quiet characters. I really enjoyed making their hair, like, fun colors. So I did so. And, yeah, here's Mr. Grumpy Cat that never got put into pen and ink. <laughs> or colored. Or finished. Some sassy character. A sassy purple ombre character. And uh, another little girl over here. This one I had a reference picture and I was like, hmm, I want to take a reference picture and turn this real person into a kawaii character. So I tried that and did the same thing here. But these are the kawaii characters. And then I moved into a new phase of drawing, which was more like reference photos and doing things. This was a girl off the a Nancy Drew book. She was the cover. It was like a ballerina mystery or something. But these eyes were really, like, I, I worked so hard on these, and I was so proud of these eyes. And, uh, I honestly, they, I still am pretty happy with them. They're, like, nice, like, size. And any, anyways, they, they were pretty fun. Then we have the beginning of my portraits that I did with sketching and ink. And this one I remember sitting at the library drawing this character. And it was so fun. And she has a fun expression with... I think she had like ice cream in her picture but I never finished drawing the ice cream <laughs> then we have um this round of portrait this was the next one which honestly this one was like a whole new ball game for me because I worked so long and hard on this one and I was so proud of it and it was really really fun to do um it was a really good reference picture also had lots of like lighting and stuff so that one was really fun Then we have the pin and ink hair drawing. I really had fun like making designs inside of the um, hair and like making like little patterns and it was really fun and it's also like a fun pastime if you're like trying to focus on something you can like do little pin and ink doodles. Then we enter the page of randomness. This was my page of random is what I called it. And it's where I practiced writing my name. It was right here. This, like, one spot I didn't really touch was where I asked my cousin to write my name pretty on here. And then I basically spent the whole other page writing it over and over and over. 
trying to make it pretty and I also did like random sketches and doodles in here but yes this was a fun a fun time here we get to my butterfly tree and this one I actually have in my like portfolio that I sent in to like be accepted for the art program at college that is what I put this one in and I also put in this one this pen and ink panda which these pages are like half ripped on the sides because I've turned to them so many times I'd be like want to see my sketchbook or you want to see this page <laughs> I had lots of fun with these zoom pages, but they were really fun. I spent like so many like sittings where I would just try to get every single dot exactly how I wanted it. I was very particular with this one, but these two were fun. It was like kawaii then pen and ink is kind of the next phase, but here we are at my word man. I asked somebody, I can't remember who it was. They said, give me a word. And they said, word. And I was like, okay. And so I drew a person only writing the word, word, over and over and over and over. So if you look carefully, it's just word, 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 word. <laughs> so I had, I had fun with this one and making a person out of the word, word. Then we have this person, which is the, um, kind of playing off the same idea from the last one. Forehead, cheek, cheek, jaw chin, jaw, neck, shirt, 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 horizon. <laughs> I just, you know, creativity comes in many different forms. Then we have, I have a 98, 97 year old lady that I was showing this sketchbook to a, a friend. And she was like, this is all I can draw. And she drew a duck, a duck, and she signed it. And it was really cute. So that's a, a favorite page of mine. <laughs> and finally, to end the sketchbook, I drew a goodbye. Goodbye with a little a little butterfly moth and a and a flower. Because this was such a fun sketchbook and full of fun memories and like just my artistic journey. This was kind of like the sketchbook I used to like really start the whole like I'm serious about art like serious meaning like I like to do it more often but it, it was a really fun journal and I'm really happy to be able to like still have this and be able to look through and see the different phases such as calligraphy kawaii pen and ink randomness so yeah I I hope you enjoyed looking through this sketchbook with me and you know art starts somewhere and sometimes that somewhere is an elephant fish